Hey guys, in this video, we're going to cover our system settings on the iPad. To begin, tap on settings, tap on system settings. These are a lot of your defaults that the software will start out with, such as default estimating settings, default widths for your doors, and so on. Measurement system and size format. This is where you can change from the imperial to metric system. You can change the precision of your length and area quantities along with the volume precision. Takeoff, this will be where you can set the default name prefixes for your rooms that are drawn out, your default wall thickness, default wall height, your default door width, default door height, and so on. And if you scroll down, you'll also have control of the number of steps per break for your stairs and also your default elevation height. Roll estimation settings. We will look at the carpet layout settings as these will be the same options you have for vinyl. This is where you can adjust the amount of cut margin being added onto each cut. You can do a length, width, or both, or none, as seen here. You can adjust your roll cut option, such as by layer or by room, depending how you want that situated on the cut sheet. You can add or subtract the amount of T-seams that get added per cut when it first initially dropped in. You can turn on square off wedge cuts now, which is a newer addition from our Windows version. This will attempt to space out oddly cut shapes on your cut sheet a little bit more compared to compacting them to give you a lower number possibly. You can decide your default for your carpet patterns. So default, it is turned on to be round up to pattern size. If you select this off, this will give you the control for the width and length factors, such as changing it from 0.5 to one. This will give you a full repeat on the length or width, depending on what you choose for the pattern. We scroll down to advanced settings at the bottom. This is where you can adjust your max roll cut length, minimum reuse length. If you want the linear length to be rounded up to near three inch, you can enter three inches, similar to the roll cuts as well. You can add in a three inch roundup to have a little bit more whole numbers. We'll take a step back. And as a note, these are not retroactive. These are only changed for products going forward. We also have advanced tile estimating features. We can split those up by ceramic, carpet, vinyl, tile, and hardwoods and laminates. And this is where you can adjust your default grout width. If you want very tiny size pieces to be ignored, especially if you're rounding up or doing no reuse for tiles, you can allow fixed texture matching, allow rotation or not, prefer factory edge. You can tell the software how many times you can cut each tile as we move farther down the list. You can add a cut margin to each tile, just like you can for roll goods. You can tell how to waste share the reusable tiles by project layer or room. And you also can tell a radius on how far it can be shared depending on your settings. Going into our pop-up window control, this is where you can tell the software if you want those windows to pop up that gives you edible details of certain objects such as door, rooms, stairways, and cutouts. These can be helpful if you want to edit them on the fly by turning them on. Styles and fonts. You can edit the style of your labels, dimensions, linear products, and wall section color now. Product catalogs, this is where we can tap on the catalogs and see all the different ones we have attached to our account on this device. You can hit edit at the top right to add a new catalog to create one from scratch. It will be completely empty if you create a new one. You can delete them from here as well. Any changes you've made that you want to push to the cloud and possibly other devices, you would go into this menu and hit sync at the bottom right. So if you are sharing a database with other users, you make a change and would like them to receive those changes, you would come to this menu, hit sync at the bottom right. They would then go to the same menu, hit sync as well to receive those changes. Quick access toolbar setting. This is a great feature where you can edit the shortcuts you have on the right side. You can see on my right side, that's a little bit grayed out. It says free draw, room by size, elevation, tabs, distance meter. You can see these in the pop-up box as well. If I want to edit these, I can simply tap edit. I can realign them or delete them all together. If I would like to add more to this list, I can hit the plus icon at the top right. 
And these will be the options I can still add onto my quick access toolbar on the right side. Sync settings. This is where we can push or bring down settings that we have in our cloud, such as the print profile that you may be sharing with other users. Auto save to camera roll. This tells the software to automatically save pictures taken within the app to attach to a room to your camera roll on the iPad. So they will not be only stuck in the software. You can have them locally on your iPad as well, disconnected from Measure Square. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and happy measuring.